What's up everybody? Welcome back to my laboratory where safety is number one priority and today we're going to put to the test hot dog gadgets. Let's see what I got. First of all, we'll have to cook the hot dog. Well, guess what? What is the easiest way to cook stuff? Obviously microwave. This is why I order a microwave hot dog cooker. Six step instruction. Whoa, no way. Looks like you put it with the bun. That's awesome. I hope the bread does not get soggy inside of the microwave. This is why we put them to the test. Let's open it up, see what it's all about. One, two and three. Oh, looks like the hot dog gonna go inside here. Step one, you get your hot dog, put it inside there, boom. Then, step two, you cover it up like this. Step three, you get a bun. Wow, this is actually better than I expected. There you go, this is a pretty good one. We're going to put the bun right like this. Step four, all we have to do is just cover it up. Does it lock in or just slides in? I have no idea. That's it. I guess it's just a little cover like that. Place in the microwave we cook for 55-60 seconds. We'll do one minute. Stick it in there and run it for 60 My biggest question about this microwave cooker, will the bread actually will be crispy or will it be soggy? Because every time you microwave bread, it uh, gets really mushy and kind of wet. Okay, I put for six minutes by mistakes, but there you go, there's 60 seconds one by. Take it off. It was awkward for me to see. But let's see what happens. Let's zoom in on it. Okay, let's open it up. And wow, the bird actually stuck to this thing a little bit. So it is a little bit soggy. I can feel the moisture on it, like I expected. Because especially hot dog produces a lot of moisture. But wow, hot dogs is cooked all the way. Looks like boiled hot dogs. I like it. And it's shreds in there so that way when you're going to put ketchup or toppings it goes inside of your hot dog that's awesome i like that option i wish the bread didn't get soggy but on the outside it's actually pretty crispy let's demonstrate how it's gonna go inside there put your ketchup and put your toppings boom your hot dog ready to go Okay guys, quick taste test. It's delicious, but the bread is definitely a little bit soggy. You can even taste how it's like become very chewy. But anyways, let's check out the next gadget. For this gadget, I got here hot dog tones for your grill. Who does not love grill out hot dogs? It's probably one of the easiest things to grill. There's a rubber band, there you go. And check this out, it's a grill, spatula right here, and it's wavy, perfect for the hot dogs. Let's fire up the grill and cook a couple hot dogs, let's see if it actually works. Look at that, we can grab a couple hot dogs, put it right here, perfect. Let's try to grab another one, right out of the package. Look at that, it grabs it so good, I like it. We're gonna do like at least four hot dogs. Boom, beautiful. Okay guys, as you can see our hot dogs almost done. So what you're gonna do is flip one in, maybe flip a second one in. And that way, look, you can hold them really nicely. That way they're not going to slip out. Because if you go up the top one, it might slip out the middle one. Put them in the plate. Okay, there's a couple more. Lift them up, clam it, and then you can grab another one. Boom. Just like that. Pretty unnecessary, but I think it's still unique. It's funny that they made a spatula just for hot dogs. We have all these cooked hot dogs, now we need to put it in a bun. Well, I prefer buns like that. Let me show you how I make my hot dogs. You got yourself a bun like that and with the help of this gadget, what you're gonna do, you can actually cut off the top and eat it. And that way it's easier to 
go through like this and you just want to spin it not push it but spin it all the way down you can feel it it's almost to the bottom you got here bun with a hole inside there that the hot dog will perfectly will go inside into the bread boom but first of all I would put my toppings like ketchup and mayonnaise or whatever you like it in there you put your ketchup in there you can add some of this stuff it's up to you what you want to add and then you stick your hot dog and it's just gonna bathe inside of that ketchup mayonnaise mustard whatever and that way you can eat your hot dog mess free let me show you there you go mess free hot dog what you're gonna do is can just bite into it and all that ketchup does not fall out from the other side or the hot dog you know that's really annoying mm. this is how everybody should eat hot dogs definitely way way less messy With each bite, all the ketchup actually push into the bun even more. So if anything, your hot dog bun getting even more juicier. Let me demonstrate for you one more time. This is, again, the best way. You can rip off the top, grab one of these gadgets, and spiral it too, like this. That's what you want to do. And go all the way to the bottom, but you don't want to poke a hole through this right here, because it's going to be a perfect pocket for all your toppings then again you can add your toppings whatever you like we're gonna put everything all the way through with the hot dog later and then there's ketchup look how much ketchup we can hold then you can get your hot dog and push everything too look at that oh yeah that's a juicy hot dog right here again the best way to eat hot dogs next time you're doing a cookout go ahead and surprise your friends and family with this kind of hot dogs they're gonna love it because it's mess free and you really can load it up and if you want to add more toppings all you have to do is buy bigger buns and make bigger holes and if you have a bigger bun you can actually make a double hot dog you make a bigger hole and you can stick two hot dogs in there and more toppings this thing is amazing this is like a life hack not everybody likes hot dog this is why we're going to put to the test this gadget what it is it makes a burger meat into a hot dog so you can get meat like that any kind and make a sausage out of it i guess what you would do is grab a piece of meat and stuff it like this oh wait this is actually a stuffer boom like that wow easy and that makes it into a hot dog and you just add on a little bit by little bit and stuff it boom you have another hot dog right here just stick in the meat and I have one more piece right here and once again you can just shape it like that this one a little bit bent I guess it got bent in the shipping oh well I can just use my hands I guess okay you see it's liftable this is what it looks like okay next you can put it in an oven or in a grill obviously I would love to cook out with this so I'm gonna put it in a grill instead in the last hot dog videos I have put to the test something like that this gadget actually looks the best at least it looks like it let's see if actually going to work and cook it well okay let's check on them whoa cooking up pretty fast and they season really nice yeah. looks like they're gonna stick together no problem okay okay that looks nice and crispy wow look how much they have shrunk yeah this thing will be hot beautiful okay then we are supposed to be able to lift this whole thing up and boom all the grease stays in here that's very nice First I can do it very simple with a regular bun like this. Let's see, we're gonna get this small one out first. Wow, that looks delicious, don't you think? All you have to do is just add on toppings. And then this one. We're gonna grab our gadget and put it to like this. So 
so that way there is lots of space this bed even better look at that perfect hole okay let's see if it fits now there you go just squish it in and boom you got here an amazing hot dog guide right here just add on ketchup and everything by the way this gadget is fixable i bent it back now it's all straight again for the next gadget i got here hot dog slicer let's see what it's all about you got yourself a hot dog and it's supposed to slice to the hot dog looks like it's not going to work with every single hot dog as you can see this hot dogs a little bit too big let's see if we can make it work anyway kind of not really let's try this one more time again it's just falling apart i don't have the smaller hot dogs but kind of makes sense right it's supposed to slice up your hot dog in a different pieces but now we know that it does not work with every hot dogs only with the tiny hot dogs oh well well guys that's pretty much it let me know in comments below which gadget was your favorite honestly this one definitely my favorite because making hot dogs like that is definitely mess free and way more delicious because you can actually make a bigger bite without worrying like everything gonna spill out how many of you have dropped like all the toppings or the whole hot dog out of your bun i have at least all the toppings don't remember if i have lost the hot dog out of the bun but definitely lots of toppings because i like to load up my bun very big so this is the best way to do it in my opinion but let me know in comments below what do you think don't forget to thumbs up this video, subscribe, and I'll see you next time.